Hi everybody, this is Dr. Paramjeet. How are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. We are talking about low sperm count and male infertility issues. We have already discussed the symptoms, the medical causes, the environmental causes, when should you contact your doctor and now today we are going to discuss about the lifestyle and health related causes which can lead to low sperm count. So don't forget to subscribe my channel for such videos and do share my videos. Do let us know how you're liking these videos and comment as much as you can. So let's start. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. See guys, Low sperm count can be caused due to many reasons. If you are doing something bad in your lifestyle, you should know about it. So what are these things which you might be doing which might lead to low sperm count? First is drug use. If you are using steroids to stimulate muscle growth or growth, they can cause testicles to shrink and then sperm production will decrease. Overuse of cocaine or marijuana might reduce the number and quality of sperm as well. Then alcohol. Alcohol can lower the testosterone levels and therefore can decrease the sperm production. Then there are certain occupational issues like welding or uh, those associated with prolonged sitting such as truck drivers or who are overexposed to heat can actually uh, suffer from low sperm count. Then tobacco smoking. Men who smoke might have a low sperm count than who don't smoke. Then emotional stress. Severe or prolonged emotional stress including stress about fertility or even about any, any topic can interfere with your hormones and lead to low sperm count. Decreased sleep, for that matter, is also con considered as stress. Then weight. Obesity can impair infertility in several ways, including directly impacting sperms and by causing hormonal changes that reduces the male fertility. So especially in males, obesity can cause infertility issues. Then there is Sperm testing issues, that means you might not have done the test correctly. Especially, uh, lower than normal sperm count can result from testing sperm samples that was taken too early after your last ejaculation. Or was taken too soon after an illness or stressful event or didn't contain all the semen you ejaculated because some was spilled during collection. For these reasons, the results are generally based on several samples taken over a period of time. So all these lifestyle related issues can lead to lower sperm count and therefore lead to male infertility issues. Therefore, addressing these factors will definitely help you out. So let's see what are the risk factors with all, what all we have discussed. Let's just jot them down. Uh, Smoking tobacco, drinking alcohol, using certain illicit drugs, being overweight, having certain past or present infections, being exposure, being exposed to toxin, overheating of the testicles, having experienced trauma to the testicles, being born with a fertility disorder or having a blood relative with a fertility disorder, certain medical conditions, tumors, chronic illnesses and during cancer treatment such as radiation, taking certain medications, having a prior vasectomy or major operation on the pelvic or abdominal surgeries, having a history of undescended testes, all of these are the risk factors which can lead to low sperm count. So what can you do to prevent it? So obviously things which are in your hand uh, include stop smoking, abstain limit or abstain from alcohol, Stop all types of illicit drug abuse. Talk to your doctor about medication that can alter the sperm count. Maintain a healthy weight. Avoid excess heat. Avoid stress. Manage stress if it is there. Avoid exposure to pesticides or toxins or heavy metals. So all these things can actually prevent 
low sperm count and help you out in conceiving a pregnancy so if you have any questions about all these topics then do write to us I'm here to help you out. You need to help me to promote my channel, Doctor Education. So do subscribe and ask your friends to subscribe the channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon because that's how you'll get the notification for the next upcoming video. So I'm Doctor Paranjit, and you're watching Doctor Education.